Alright, Shalom, all praises unto Yah, by Shimei Okay, double honesty, the apostles of GMS, honesty brothers will be, uh, double honesty, the apostles of GMS, and honesty brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity. So, I wanted to do a quick video, and um, this is going to be regarding um, pretty much the, the days that we're living in right now, um, the last days of the last days, okay, and um, you got a lot of geezers um, popping back on the scene. Okay, and you got a lot of uh, other individuals falling off. Okay, and the simple fact of the matter is, it's all good and well being on fire for this thing because there's something to talk about. But you're gonna be on this fire. You're gonna be on fire for this thing, twenty-four seven. Okay, the scripture talks about how this this thing was gonna be your woman. Now look, I say that, and you know I cut myself in saying that because ultimately, you know we're all uh, are born of the flesh. Out here. Ain't nobody perfect out here, okay? But the fact of the matter is, the words that I'm speaking, those of uh, should be words of uh, 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 of inspiration, okay? As to do, uh, 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 as hopefully as I'm going to get into the scriptures and to show you, you know, you're supposed to be on fire for this thing 24-7, man, okay? That's, a, that's supposed to be, at the very least, that's supposed to be the ideal, okay? If you're falling beneath the ideal, then you're supposed to be thinking within your spirit that, wait, hold on a minute, something ain't quite right here. Now I gotta do this, that, and the third to get back on on top of my game. It's like being in sports, man. The only thing is, there ain't no off season out here. Okay, scripture talks about how you gotta be, and I ain't gonna get every scripture. I'm not just stick to this one scripture right here and quote a bunch of scriptures. I'll see how the spirit deals. The scripture talks about how uh, uh, you gotta be, you gotta be fervent in season, out of season. So if you have an individual and their whole thing is putting the basketball through the hoop, well, they have an off season. They take some time off. The scripture says you, you can't you can't take that time off because guess what? During the off time, during the off season, man, you know, small things that are gonna lead up to 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 to, to being the foundations of uh, 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 um of what you're gonna need in the future, you're gonna be missing out of that. Okay? In other words, if you're training for something, okay, if you're training to get that chip, well guess what? Uh, uh you ain't gonna get that chip unless you're training in the off season. And if I use that same analogy of the basketball, putting a, a ball through a hoop. Okay, you got certain geezers out there when it's the off season, they ain't taking time off because they're so firm, they're so focused on that ideal, that goal, that ring. Okay, that they're gonna be working even in the off season. So when the season starts, they're gonna be on another level comparatively to those people that were taking time off, man. Okay, and that's how you're gonna see this too. If you're gonna say, look, boom, this is how it's this is how it's popping off. Now we're in a time where Syria is doing this, that, and the third, and you got all kind of situations popping out there in, in the Middle East. So you got all kind of brothers on fire now. All right, the, subscri the subscription box is filled up with videos right now. Okay, but you go back a couple of weeks ago when nothing was really popping off. And, you know, I ain't the person to be saying that, but really, just as a, as an analysis of a, um of, a, of of what I've seen. Okay, like I said, I'm not in a position to be even saying that, but really. You really you didn't have people, you know, throwing informations out there like that. They weren't really people weren't really excited like that, as if to say this thing weren't necessary, as if to say those videos during those period of times weren't necessary. Those were the foundations of what you're gonna need for when this thing pops off. You're gonna be stable, man. Okay, and as for the people that were doing it, they ain't doing nothing different, man. <laughs> them brothers ain't doing nothing different because you know what? You be watching them subscriptions, you see the same faces. Okay, the same people doing the same thing. Okay, because it's, it's it within their spirit to do so. But I, I beseech you, brethren, okay, through the power of your heart, by me outside, that you do the same thing. Like, you know, certain brothers that come, you know, the ones I'm talking about, brothers that come to mind, man. Okay, brothers that basically set, and it's starting first and foremost with the elders that have set the standards of the ideal, all right, that you're supposed to be uh, fervently pursuing, okay, in order to make it out of this out of this place not just to be uh on fire for this thing when it's when when you got all kind of information coming out but you got to find resources and informations and video material when they when it ain't so hot that's where the difficulty comes in that's what jake has, has, a, has a has a problem dealing with myself included okay but really all it comes down to is you, you gotta you gotta decide for what's what times we're in man and if we are in the last days of the last days and it's tiring and but it ain't gonna Tarry for too long as the scripture says in the book of Isaiah the thirteenth chapter. Well guess what? There's always gonna be something that you can you can touch on, man. Okay? It's, hey, there's a, a good piece of uh, um a saying that they say out there is that you don't know nothing until you try to teach it. So here it is, you're out there at the camp, you're holding the sign, and you're thinking about that brother that's talking. And you're thinking, man, I should I should be doing that, I should be speaking right there. 
Well, guess what? You can go home. Okay, them video topics, them topics that you had within your head when you was you you know dealing with envious. That's what you're supposed to be putting up, man. Because that's gonna really test you to see if you really knew them information. You can go through the basic scriptures, bread and butter scriptures. Okay, breaking down certain topics. Now you might get one or two views, but guess what? That's gonna fortify your your knowledge. And when Satan goes comes down heavy in the, in, in these in these last days, well, guess what? Okay, guess what? You're gonna be you're gonna be steadfast within this truth, right? You're gonna be like a rock. <laughs> and, and, and you know, there's a certain uh, apostle that goes into how we're the, uh, we're we're the house of the rocks, man. We're, this is the this this is this is a stone like thing right here, man. Okay, so let's go into this scripture right quick. Um, this is the book of Proverbs, the first chapter on the 21st verse, and I could have gone to a thousand other different scriptures to fortify the, um, the example I'm trying to do here, but I went to this one, okay, because I like this scripture. It goes into a lot of different things. So the scripture says there, wisdom crieth without, okay, she uttereth her voice in the streets, she crieth in the chief places of concourse, right, in the openings of the gate, she uttereth her voice, saying, how long you simple ones, we love simplicity. So how long are you guys going to be out there? Uh, how long? Uh, 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 how long are you gonna be? Uh, uh, um, how long are you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans gonna love the simple state of mind that you've gone acclimatized to? And that's good. That's dealing with your just your, your average day Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans. But like I said, we're all children of the flesh. So this demon will jump on you sometimes. You get too simple. You get too relaxed, man. Like a certain apostles uh, gets into. Okay, all right. That being elder, elder apostle uh, Gabar, he gets into the fact you don't want to be a hey, one comfortable. A hey, sometimes that's too comfortable, man. Okay, you want to stay one comfortable, not too comfortable, man. Because that comfortability, especially for my, even if, look, even if this was a, a kingdom of righteousness, being too comfortable, that will allow some uh, some poison to come up in, into your household, man. Okay, you'll be too comfortable, your woman comes up with an idea and a philosophy and teaches that with your kids and you're going to let that slide. That's too comfortable, okay? And that's what you got out here. That's, you got it to where people are, are pushing forth for an idea, all right, or ideas, all right, uh, 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 that is against, uh, 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 um, that is against uh, uh, the, the, the doctrine of the moral side because the men have done got themselves in a comfortable state, man. Okay, they uh, uh, simulated their mind to be in a comfortable uh, position. You don't want to be too comfortable, man. You want to put yourself in a position where you're always constantly working. You know, you're gonna be that deer in the, in the middle of the street, man. Okay, when you go out there into the woods sometimes and you go to roll day, well, guess what? You got to drive carefully because you might have that day. But when you see that day, man, that, that day is going to twitch and it's going to move right out of the way, man. And that's how you're going to be. Okay, so it says, how long you simple ones we love simplicity and the scorners delight in scorning and the fools hate knowledge? Turn you up my reproof and I'll behold, I'll, rep I'll pour out my, my spirit unto you and I'll make my words not unto you. So when you get that first rebuke, okay, and brothers will be getting on to you and saying, look, this, that, and the third, you know, uh, you gotta do this, that, and the third. You're supposed to. You're supposed to turn that. And you really gotta see this video, damn near. Like if, if it's cutting you in your spirit, you gotta see it as a rebuke because you might be that individual that's you know cutting it a bit too fine, man. Okay, like I said, look, I ain't. In, you know, the spirit just got on me to do this video, but I ain't the authority out here. You know, if you don't say what I say, what do I care? <laughs> you know, I. You know, I do my best to do the job that the Most High has given me. Right, but for, 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 for yourself, it's your own salvation. That's why the scripture says you gotta work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. With fear. <laughs> okay? And if you're fearful, well guess what? Even when it's the off season when you got you haven't got things popping off out there all over the place, left, right, and center, you was gonna be on fire for this thing, man. Going into the basic topics, going into the complicated topics, but not going way beyond your own measure, man. Okay, you was always gonna be. Hey, scripture talks about how this thing's like living wars. You was always gonna find a way for this thing for you to pop off, man. And that's how you gotta be, man. Okay, it says, "Turn you up my reproof, and I behold, I pour out my spirit unto you, because I have called in you a refuse." So the most I had it to where he said, "Look, this is the standard," and you kind of you was lukewarm about it. Like the scripture says, "Well, guess what?" The most I said this. Uh, 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 um, because I called and you refused and I stretched out my hand and no man regarded but you have said not all of my counsel and none of my reproof so brothers were reproving and reproving and reproving and said this is the standard follow the standard this is the standard follow the standard and he was like okay um, you know you do it for two weeks do it for three weeks and you really didn't get into it well guess what this is what the most is going to do he says I'll also laugh at your calamity and I'll mock when your fear cometh Okay, and he says, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your time uh, and, uh, and your destruction as a, with a whirlwind. Okay, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, all right. And uh, it says, the anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call up? Because it says, then shall they call upon me? So this, ultimately, this ain't really dealing with brothers in GMS. Okay, because most brothers follow follow that rule of thumb, man. 
Okay, follow the standard step forth by the elders, man. Okay, but if you're slipping underneath the radio and you're getting away with certain things, well, guess what? The Most High is watching you. Okay, it ain't a thing of brothers watching every brother and seeing what they're doing. You know, that's why the scripture talks about fear and trample, man. Because the fear is that the Most High is watching what you're doing. And in watching what you're doing, guess what? He could jack your ass up, man. Okay, he could destroy you for whatever, whatever, whatever uh, uh, BS you're doing, man. Okay, that's falling underneath the radar and you're thinking you're getting away with it. The Most High is seeing that. Okay, and it says, They shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me because they hate knowledge. Ultimately, these dudes that ain't on that standard, they hate the knowledge of the Most High. They see this as a thing of information gathering so they can feel some type of way. And, and Lord's will, I ain't one of these individuals. And uh, you know, uh, um, you know, I could keep, to, you know, I could keep keep to the standard. But you got guys out there that 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 that, 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 that are doing it, man. Okay, so it says here that they hate it. They ultimately, they hate the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. They come in here, they they see a, a thing, you know, a fad, okay, a thing to be, you know, something to do, okay. Because let's just let's just be honest about it. Esau's kingdom's whack. So you always gonna be, uh, you you always gonna have Jake's that are uh, trying to be more than uh, uh, the, the the two third uh, individual uh, drinking cognac. Okay, that they that, 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 that they set up to be, you're gonna see them try to stimulate themselves to be the prophets of the Most High, but ultimately they was gonna be uh, weeded out, man. And one of those means of weeding them out is the the the, the uh, high standard that's been set forth by the elders of GMS, man. Okay, because niggas ain't they niggas went out there into IUIC because that's an easier thing to deal with, man. Okay, they don't have to hold to no standards. Okay, if the dude wants to put dreadlocks in his head, he can have dreadlocks. If he wants to line himself up, he can have line himself up. He wants to, if he doesn't want to do videos, period, but wants to show up at uh, uh, just the Passover, well, guess what? That's enough for the IUIC because guess what? When they're at the Passover, they're going to give them that Nate, that money, man. And that's the only standard that they have, that Nate gets his fill of, uh, his fill of coin, man. Well, guess what? That ain't the same out here, man. Okay, because ultimately this is the standard Yahweh Bashim Yahshai set out. And when you look at the Lord's ministry, man, he was always doing the work, man. He's always doing the work. He said, My meat is to do my father's work, man. And that's how you gotta assimilate yourself to do. The scripture talks about how you're supposed to be what you're supposed to have the same mind that is in your house, right? It's supposed to be within you, man. To finish the to do to do the work and to finish it in season and out of season. Okay? For they hated knowledge is not true to fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right, and they will none of my reproof. All right, that's all. This says, and therefore, shall they eat off their own ways and shall be filled in their own devices. Okay, so pretty much, you know, like I said, um, there, could have, there was a thousand other scriptures that I could have went into, uh, uh to deal with that, but you know, uh, uh hopefully it was of edification, or most important, hopefully it was uh, inspirational to, to 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 diligently seek out your your salvation, man. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna say, shalom.